Birdies all around. That's a good story there. Let's take a look at what's going on around the region tonight as we look across the Miami Valley. Plenty of dry weather at this time. Uh, we've been tracking some thunderstorms coming out of central Indiana. The good news is they've been weakening as they've been progressing eastward. So tonight as we uh, zoom in on the area where we were seeing some of that rain over the past couple of hours uh, coming across Clark County and working over towards the central part of Ohio, you can really see things have quieted down quite a bit compared to that line of storms that we had earlier. So uh, more than likely, we're not going to see this tornado watch in effect much longer unless things start happening. And the greatest chance of seeing some stronger storms pop up now will be across the central and northern sections of the state as we head through the evening. But we still may have a couple of thunderstorms develop uh, later tonight, uh, especially into tomorrow morning as a cool front comes in from the west. Some of the severe weather reports today, some large hail and some damaging winds did pop up across northern Kentucky. And that was one of the reasons, that was between about 1 and 2 o'clock, one of the reasons we saw that tornado watch issued along with that line of storms that was developing to the west of us. So we can't rule out a passing shower or thunderstorm at 7 o'clock through 11 o'clock, but temperatures will be cooling off 76 at 7 o'clock, 70 at 9 p.m., and then down to 68 at 11. And then tomorrow morning, expect to see that chance for some thunderstorms. A little better chance, I think, tomorrow morning, 63 at 8 o'clock, 66 at noon with the rain winding down, and by 5 o'clock, 69 and turning less humid. So finally, we'll see some improvement in that weather pattern uh, by the end of the day on Friday. Friday, and that will set the stage for some nice weather going into the weekend. Your evening commute, a little bit of light fog still around the area with a relative humidity up, feeling more like summer, 62%, 78 degrees the current reading, and breezy. A south-southwest wind at 14, our high today 82 at 2.30, and this morning right around 2 a.m. dropped down to 52 and just a trace of rain out at Dayton International Airport. There are muggy dew points. You can see the readings into the 60s for us, and then here is our less humid air starting to push back towards Lafayette and Chicago. And eventually late tonight and into tomorrow, that'll start to work in from the west, too. And right now, you can see those readings again warmer to the north and east of us. Readings into the low 80s. We've actually dropped off about 4 degrees from our afternoon high back into the upper 70s now. And there's our cold front, no doubt about it, where that's showing up just to the west of St. Louis. And that's what we'll be pushing into the area tomorrow morning. So along that front, we'll watch additional thunderstorms flare up tonight. This area will head northeastward late tonight and bring us that increased chance of rain again. Otherwise, it just kind of looks hit and miss as far as any kind of rain that we might have as we go through the next six to eight hours with that uh, cold front to the west of us. So let's check out future track. Warm front to the north tonight. Again, there will be the chance of a couple of showers and thunderstorms. A little better chance of some of that rain riding up from the south and west tomorrow morning. And then by the time we get to the afternoon, we'll be looking at improving weather as that less humid air builds in. And just in time for the weekend, high pressure takes charge. Rain should stay south of us Saturday, although getting a little bit closer again by the time we get to late Sunday. So our forecast tonight, that chance for an evening shower or thunderstorm early on, and then I think we'll see a break in the rain. Again, just uh, anything out there tonight is going to be kind of hit and miss, and 62 degrees, that overnight low. Tomorrow, chance for a thunderstorm in the morning. Otherwise, we'll be looking for improving weather in the afternoon, turning less humid as we get back to partly sunny skies. R rain should wind down by lunchtime, 66, and then as we see a little more sun late day, getting those temperatures upper 60s to around 70. Your seven-day planner. Weekend's looking good up around 70 on Saturday with partly sunny skies, some increase in cloud cover Sunday, maybe a late day shower, but a better chance of those thunderstorms early next week on Monday and then cooling off again on Tuesday.